What are the ties of love that bind our families together? What is the divine purpose of love in our families? Soundtracks presents Ties that Bind. One of the most integral elements in a family is the kitchen. Now the reason why I say that the kitchen of any household is fundamental to the stability of a household is due to the fact that within the realm of a kitchen we find the vital elements of conversation between family members. Family members often tend to commune with one another while eating food. When I emphasize on the aspect of a kitchen, I do not lean on the kind of food that is received. There are some things in life that cannot be achieved by merely taste. The essence of family or the essence of family conversations remain the building blocks of a successful family life. In the days of the past, the ones who've gone through the extremes of poverty might be able to relate to this core concept. The food given might not have been tasty, but we still tended on eating every last bit of it because that is all we got. The epitome of modern culture has in many ways ruined the sphere of family nourishment. The overuse of technological gadgets and the preference of taste over invaluable family time has robbed our up-and-coming generation from the values that can be learned from family counseling. In many ways, this has distorted the modern-day society and has pushed it into a very bad state of affairs. There have been various books that have been written in regards to the effective and delicious ways in cooking. However, there has only been one book that has been published in the entire discourse of history that deals with the conversations that occur in a meal time between family members. Written by Martin Luther in the 15th century, his disciples publicized his works on the emphasis of leading conversations within a family during meal in his infamous book Table Talks. With respect to this book, I would like to propose some questions. Question number 1. What was it that was so special in the life of Luther that it was worthy enough to be recorded as a book? The answer to that lies in the perspectives held by Luther. the ways in which he abided with principles his inspirations the numerous methods through which he was able to attain in a peace the manner in which he delegated with the outside world all such factors must have inspired his disciples to record a book about his life secondly if such a book were to be written about you as a person by perhaps your children what all aspects of your life will be included in this context The question then becomes if your family is worthy enough to be publicized to the world outside. Do you have table talks at home? The children might say that we have a beautifully arranged furniture at home, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have table talks. If you have those points of conversations within the household, then the next question becomes as to the subjects of your conversations. Are your conversations focused on speaking ill about others or are they for personal growth in the family? Such things must be always pondered upon. Third question, how are your table talks influencing the listeners? Now what I mean by listeners is in reference to children at your homes. How are they responding to the conversations at the dining table? The conversations that occur when a family dines must inspire the children into being better. It should contain the aspects of morality, ethics and a sense of decent language. Children are very keen listeners, hence families must be vigilant in this matter. Fourth question, what is the aftermath of being careless in table talks? If one fails to adhere to the basic codes of decency and does not come off as being polite in table talks, it affects the testimony of that person. The testimony is that each individual holds in the family is very important. Hence one must be very careful in the things that is said and if not careful, it would lead to the family atmosphere becoming extremely toxic in nature. Fifth question what all can a person do to make dinner conversations or table talks more effective within the family firstly make sure that everyone in the family dines together with tasty food let's assure that we'd also enjoy beautiful companionship 
Secondly, make a decision to not speak ill of others during table talks. And when this decision is made in accordance to everyone within the family, one can completely avoid the evil of speaking ill. Thirdly, when you sit down at the dining table for food, make it a point that no member of the family is distracted by externalities such as television, mobile phones or newspapers. This ensures a healthy conversation and keeps the family away from diving into their own world of engaging factors. Fourthly, select fun topics for discussion. Let very civil topics come up at the table. Finally, make a decision to not bring up negative topics at the table. This ensures that topics discussed at table talks would not go astray from principles. Above all, let us ensure that our family lives are filled with the glory of the Lord and that we realize the fact that families in itself are counseling centers. Let us keep all of these things in mind. We will be back with a similar topic next week. Till then, the grace of God dwell in you. Amen.